Hi, welcome to today's video. I'm currently not in my garage because I am at the airport. So I just landed in Sacramento and my first stop is Work. They're kind of wrinkly though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we're going to get a grapefruit, but apparently they don't sell grapefruit here. You so went to the one store. store that doesn't have grapefruit? They don't have Mexican grapefruit. There's no <laughs> such thing. <laughs> okay, we're doing a spontaneous talk through interview with Alvin Gideon. He's a former 86 driver, owner. You don't have your 8.6 anymore, right? I'm still a believer, though. I don't have still one. I'm still a believer. A believer. You Car start, is very competitive. You started off with an 8.6, right? Eh? Yes, I started off with that. Unfortunately, I did, yes. But uh, <gasps> learned many things uh, on how to actually drive and be a better driver. Uh, you know, without, without the 8.6, you are not going to drive the way you do. And until this day, the 8.6 drivers are known to be the best drivers, I guess. But that's because of the difficulties you have to face when you drive an 86. Well, I've I've heard from some experienced 86 drivers that it's hard to drift an 86. It is. I mean, now I drive a Corvette, and I go drive an 86, and I'm like, I can't drive this car. You know? So th that's it's a fact. I still drive an 86, but not in com a competitive basis. And the 86 is still like one of the best cars, but I mean, I have to agree with the times. I have to switch up and go with a Corvette. We're talking about making drifting, even if it's just a hobby, making it sustainable and keeping up with it. Yes. And I know you have a lot of experience with it. So now it is more obtainable than it ever was for just a hobbyist to be a, a sponsored driver than it, than it was before. In the work, you can make it sustainable because you build your resume to get your sponsors. Over, and I'm in the back of a Honda and um yeah we're what are we what are we doing again we're going we're going to Thunder Hill and this is this is a stick of honey I'm lost fucking is so hard we're going we're going to Thunder Hill we're going to watch some drifting good luck league. and good luck league Thank you. Line! <laughs> Face of my kidnapper. My buddy Antonio. Hello. Hello. So we are we are uh, in Willows, California, which is about, uh, I think so far we're like 45 minutes to an hour north on Interstate 5 from Sacramento. Going towards Thunder Hill. And uh, Thunder Hill is a pretty well-known track on the West Coast. Uh, a couple of skid pads. There's a small skid pad that used to be their big pad. And now they have an even bigger area. That's their big skid pad. So Good Luck League is usually ran at the big skid pads. So that's where we're going to be uh, heading today to go watch some drifting. And maybe there might be some cars on the racetrack actually doing uh, race car things. Race car things. So people with Porsches and people Radicals and um, some people might bring their Ferraris or their C8 Corvettes out. So we'll see what's, what's there when we get there. So... Right now we're just waiting on Alvin. And we're waiting on Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slowly losing it. Stop by the store because Alvin needs things. He's been gone for too long. About 15 Should minutes. we worry about him? Should we call him? Call on him. On the speakerphone. No, no, the phone phone. Oh. Uh, through the radio, it's a little loud. Oh, cool. That's fancy. I wish my car had these things. 2019 Honda Fit, baby. <laughs> wow, this is 2019? Yeah. This is nice. Go you. It's just, it's just dirty. I haven't back in it. Antonio more. out here thriving. I'm sorry. The you wow. He doesn't even want to talk to you. Because you're thriving. You don't need him anymore.
Yes, and he's gonna take me out in his G. Let's do this. No comment. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Alvin. Yeah. You gonna eat that rice? Um, um, this one? Yeah. This rice? Yeah. Yeah, me. What? Give me, give me, give me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to day three of California. The gents are taking me out to the mountain roads. Insane. You guys used to drift this back in the day, right? Yeah, luckily we made it out alive. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> here. <laughs> I can't believe just how smooth these roads are. Like, this is the Toge dream. 